My name is Marlon Miller. I'm the head mechanic here at Contra Bike Shop. What we're about to do is show how to change a flat. Um, two things you need to pay attention to with the brake is a quick release or if it's a bolt on, meaning it has uh, nuts and bolts on the wheel. Uh, first step is release the brake. To release the brake, you grab the noodle, the noodle of the brake and disconnect. They come apart, real simple, just pull them apart. On this bike, it's a quick release. You loosen the quick release, undo the quick release, and the wheel should just fall straight out. Once you get the wheel straight out, the tools you'll need, tie levers, what these do is they remove the tie off of the rim. Your spare tube, take the tire off. What you'll do, pull the tire back. It'll allow you to get the tire lever under the tire itself. Pull the tire lever under the tire and it locks around the spoke. That'll be your first lever. Take your second tire lever, go down about a couple inches and do the exact same thing. Put it under and then you're just going to run it around. And as you do that, the tire now comes off of the rim. Inside is your spare tube. You pull the tube out. At this point, one of the most important parts is run your hand on the inside of the tire to find out what caused the flat. Once you find it, go ahead and take it out. Uh, look or expect the outside of the tire. At this point, get your new tube, open it up. You want to put a little bit of air inside the tube to give the tube some shape. What you want to do, grab the valve, insert the valve first into the valve hole, pull the tire over, and then you're basically just going to feed the tube back into the tire. And you're just going to muscle the tire back into the rim. You don't want to use any tire levers to put the tire back on the rim in case you might pinch the tube. Just take it and air it up. Look at the side of the tire. They usually give you a tire pressure rating. At this point, once you're aired up, you want to verify that the bead in the tire is even. Once you're done that, it's a matter of just reinstalling the tire. Tighten your quick release. Make sure to reconnect your brake. Once you've done that, spin the wheel. Pull your brakes just to verify everything's working correctly. Okay. Some of the general maintenance items on a bicycle. Uh, this is the chain, uh, the drive system of the bike. Uh, basically, you want to keep this as clean as possible. Um, usually, you give the rag, give it a wipe down as you're going. Pedal backwards, wipe down the chain. Uh, then you'll get some lube product, shake them up real well. Find them liberally. Don't be scared to use this stuff. When you're done, take that rag and you're just gonna wipe off the excess chain lube. A few safety items a helmet, uh, protects your brain. Uh, there are no laws in the city of San Angelo that require helmets, but as a safety item, if you get crashed, if you crash or something like that, this will protect your head. The few laws that are in the city of San Angelo are lights. Basically, when the street lights are on, you have to have some form of a front headlight and a tail light. Best safe practices uh, whenever riding out in the city of San Angelo, uh, make sure you're riding with traffic, not against, and uh, about three feet from the edge of the curb. When choosing a bicycle, uh, Determine what kind of style of riding you'll be doing and allow you to choose the correct bicycle for that style. This is a mountain bike, uh, multi gears. It allows you to do some off roading, uh, allows you to do trail riding, stuff like that. Uh, they're good commuter bikes because they're heavy. You do a lot of uh, up and downs, off the curbs, stuff like that. This style of bike is a road bike, uh, very specific, uh, strictly road only. Um, it's designed for riding fast and riding long distances. Uh, you cannot take this style of bike off-road. The skinny tires will flat. This style of bike is a cruiser. Uh, 
just like it says. It's out for cruising around the neighborhoods, around campus, something like that. But not a fast bike, but a very comfortable bike. When purchasing a bike, uh, look at fit. You want to have a bike that fits you. You could stand over height, uh, good reach on the bike. Not all bikes are one size fits all. They're definitely targeted towards the height of the person. And if, if you need any help or any more information, come on by the Contra Bike Shop here, uh, 2015 Austin Street.